Welcome back guys. Today we're going to talk about what I've done behind the scenes on the 2012 Polaris Assault. So after our first ride, we just wanted to look it over a bit better. We noticed that the carbides on the bottom of the skis were just about gone. So they're on order. They'll be going on within the next week or so. We also, all the almost all the bearings in the bogey wheels were shot. So had it apart, might as well replace all of them. Made sure they got the good bearings just to last as long as they can. I also have, I bought them a while ago, the ice scratchers. I put them on, they will just, obviously the sled's in the air right now, but this will hook, dig into the trail or hard compact to help throw snow up into the heat exchangers. Uh, it was nice, this one already had them on at one point, so the holes were drilled. If not, it tells you in the instructions, but you have to drill a hole for this bolt for your skid and another hole further up for the pin. If I had to do this myself, this wheel would have had to come off just to drill them and then put back on. Lucky enough, didn't have to do that. Also, we have, remember a few videos ago when my oil was leaking, we, we didn't completely fix that, but so we took it apart again and buried it in some RTV sealant or what, what's it's called? I'm not sure, not a mechanic. <laughs> Anyways, it's all good. When I was riding, before we completely fixed that though, however, my lights were, they were working and they weren't. They were kind of on and off for whatever reason. We believe that it was just the oil dripping down into this. Gave it a nice good clean, pulled lots of stuff apart, pulled all kinds of ground wires off and cleaned them up because they had lots of just debris and stuck on them. It's hard to see right now. We had the hood off. There's all the wires we cleaned up. It was just a mess in there from the previous guy. It's all good now. We have run my heat advisor cord. Hooked it in up here. Comes right out this nice little hole here. Hook onto my visor when riding. Almost a week ago now I had a few too many soda pops one night and thought it would be a good idea to just Get rid of this. That's just so big and <laughs> who wants these nowadays, right? So take a guess what what I bought. What do you think I bought? Anyways, we got another GGB mountain can added to the group. We're gonna piss some people off, but we're gonna make lots of noise and have fun doing it. Lucky enough. We don't go on too many trails, so we won't void those rules too much. If we do go trail riding, we all have our stock exhaust to just throw back on, keep people happy. Also, on order with the carbides are A-arm bushings and, <laughs> and ball joints, sorry. As you can see, the more we were looking at it, there's a little bit of play in them. I. I'm sure they're fine for right now, but I don't want to waste, I don't want to go riding and it wreck five minutes into a ride or something. Might as well fix it now and be good to go when we're riding. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. It's just a short recap video, but we're getting snow further up north. We're hoping to be riding very soon for you guys. Thank you.